this device is Nokia's first Android device. So it runs on a UI called Nokia X platform. So it's a based on Android, but it lacks Google applications. So so the UI here is mixture of Windows 8 Mobile and also Mego OS. So they just combined all those and just made a UI because back then Nokia actually launching a lot of Windows Phone. So they try to make it looks like a Windows Phone, but also it's an Android phone. So the core of this device actually is Android 4.1 and it did not get any kind of update actually. This device launched back in 2014 alongside with several models like Nokia X, X Plus and XL. And Nokia started their Android journey with these devices. The model you are looking today is the Nokia X and uh, positioned as the most budget friendly option in the lineup. So the spec of this device actually it got a 4 inch 480p IPS screen as you can see here and it got a dual core snapdragon processor, 512MB of RAM and 4GB of internal storage. Alongside with on the back we got a 3 megapixel camera and but no front camera with this device. So the Nokia X bears a striking resemblance with Windows Phone as you can see here. The design is pretty much looks like a Windows Phone and I have seen few devices like similar kind of design in Windows Phone actually. So it's a and also the build quality is actually as you know that Nokia's build quality is good and no exception in this device too. The build quality is pretty good. So however that despite the anticipation among Windows Phone fans like myself, the Nokia X series face significant challenges issues such as unique ui although the ui is pretty unique but it is not really that intuitive like windows phone and also android ui and going with other things like the specs of those devices for 2014 actually not really that great and also it is not having any kind of gfs that is also another big issue with these devices so actually it did not make any sense to get one of these devices back then for that much money so going with this device we're going to explore everything of this device and as you can see here i have been using this device for actually over a year now this device is with me i do have a nokia xl2 maybe in future i will review that too and then i have already reviewed nokia x2 which was the last device released by nokia based on android i'm not talking about hmd global i'm talking about nokia here directly so that was the last device which came with Nokia X platform. So as you can see here, the, the home screen is here. There is no app drawer. So that is, this is the home screen. It's pretty similar to the Windows Phone UI, but it is pretty different too. So if you swipe here, you will see all the recent application you opened. And this is a multitasking menu it's actually. So there is no multitasking menu rather than this one. And if you go right hand side, it's similar things there is no app drawer like windows phone 2 although windows phone have got a home screen but if you swipe left you will get all the application but in this device in nokia x platform devices you will not get that feature so as you can see here all the application are here and that's all you got with this device so this device did not come with g apps yeah like if you can install g apps on this device and i did install g apps on this device but the experience with g apps was pretty terrible because of that i had to flush the device back to a stock rom because the device was having a lot of issues so it cannot handle any kind of gfs actually that much so if you swipe down as you can see here we have few things here the wi-fi bluetooth mobile data and like profile settings and we are not getting any kind of brightness slider here so there is no brightness slider if you want to customize this home skin, you can do that too. You can choose the color of the icon, but not all of them. Few of them you can change. So, and also you can make them bigger or smaller. So, other than that, you cannot do much actually here. And also you can move them around. So, like if I want this one, there is no color option. But if you go few others, there are few others which you can change color. So, if I try this. So as you can see, for upper mini, I can change color and you can put any color you want. 
so that's the customization you are getting with this device so the ui is here is actually not really completed if they put it like windows phone features to it better but here there is nothing going on like that going with the setting so the setting ui is dark as you can see here the display here is ips panel so viewing angle is good and also it got few features which we used to come with windows phone so we we have like double tap to a work feature also get lens screen so if you if you turn on the lens screen you can see the time like uh, always on display but it doesn't matter actually for this device because it will use a lot of battery ips panel is not really good at this kind of thing and double tap to feature is works something like this if you double tap anywhere it will wake up but if you double tap on the screen like this slowly it will not work but you have to do it like i don't know how it works but it's quite strange it it doesn't work like uh, other android devices it is quite strange and if you go back there are few other things going on battery section it got maybe 2000 milliampere battery but the battery doesn't last that long but it will work actually for for one day actually because of the screen size and it like the processor is not consuming that much power the processor is quite low power actually and as you can see here it's running on software version 1.2.4.1 and nokia x dual sim and the platform version is nokia x software platform 1.2 so that's all you are getting with the setting there is nothing much you can do actually not much customization available only things available is you can choose your ringtone so we do get our nokia ringtone here so like so nokia ringtone the speaker is also not really that great for this device the speaker is back here as you can see here it's not really great but the buttons are quite tactile you can press them pretty easily they are work pretty well and you, as you can see they are they are pretty laggy as you can see here if i press them pretty fast sometimes they cannot like go along with the press so those things are there and also application section as you can see here and also strange enough although it got a 4 gig of internal storage maybe 1.2 gig of storage is available yeah 1.29 gb is available and that's all you are getting with this device actually so after like it takes over i haven't installed anything here actually i haven't installed any application here all the application you are seeing are pre-installed after that we only got 1 gb of a bible storage so that's all what you are getting with from your device and it also came with a store as you can see here we do have a store here now the store doesn't work anymore actually so store doesn't work and you cannot if you want to install gf you can install but the experience will be pretty terrible and uh, one thing you can do is that you can if you want any kind of application you can directly download it on your computer or you can use opera mini here and just download it and install it directly you can use like that because the store here doesn't work anymore the application here are there actually as you can see skype facebook those things are working pretty well i will say but that's all what you are getting even the file browser here is pretty strange one they put they did not put like any kind of good file browser as you can see here they put a file browser directly from play store i don't really know why yes they did not put any kind of file browser here and going with another terrible thing of this device is that the camera so a 3 megapixel camera is this one is pretty bad camera actually pretty bad and you can take picture and videos there is no front camera maybe you can take 480p videos and i did take few pictures hopefully i let, let me show you so as you can see here picture i have taken maybe you can see they are they are they are decent actually for 3 megapixel camera but not really great as for like nokia phones used to be really good in taking pictures but this one is not really that great and also i did take a big video too just to show you as you can see the video is pretty blurry there is no autofocus or anything like that so pretty blurry and also it got a micro usb port to charge the device back then there was no type c yet with this and also we got a 3.5 headphone jack 
by the way, this device is still working because it got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also 3G. So it is working perfectly fine for me. I haven't faced any issue. Rather than that, like you cannot install any application. You can still browse, but it will. It is pretty sluggish actually, and it works. I would say it works. There is no issue with that, and the UI is not really that great. I'm not really a big fan of this UI, but I don't really know. And the keyboard is also pretty bad here. It not really like a Windows Phone one, as you can see here. It's pretty bad. It is not. It's it's not really enjoyable that much to use the keypad. Yeah, I just want to say the device is still usable, but it was terribly flopped phone because of the spec and the way it was working. So that's all about Nokia X device, Nokia's first Android phone. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.